So this video is just to show how to work with uh, the candles and what kind of features they have. So you can pick uh, your own whatever candle there's some of, of the meshes. So there's nine candles to choose from. They can uh, all be swapped out um, with your own meshes if you're not uh, happy with the shape of them. And essentially each of them also then have, you can adjust the height a little bit and you can adjust the width a little bit. But that is, if you look closely, just a, a pure scale. It's just for uh, speed. Um, but I, you know, I don't want to push that too far. That's why they're limited. So if I wanted to make a bunch of candles, I could click random rotation and random mesh. And then every time um, I move it, I make a new mesh. And then what we can do is select all these and stop them from becoming random every time we touch them. That's just the way that construction scripts want to work. Let's just adjust these to a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Let's actually make this medium and a little shorter. We'll pull this guy around front. All right, so we have our, our bunches of candles. Um, I now I'm happy with the default color for this example. I want to have them spawn their own lights and I don't mind having them spawn at 100% for this example. And the flicker is just it's sort of how turbulent but it's not a great turbulent it's a sort of a scale turbulent so I it's a little bit just to give a little bit of life to the flames. Um, but you can also turn that totally off if there's no wind and you want it very stable. So let's take a look. And that's base. That's the simple setup. And you have some candles, and they have LODs built into them, so that they should LOD as small props. But that can all be edited. And of course they. Can kind of look at them from almost any angle and they hold up. 